All right, we're getting close. All right, so here I'm just going to um, clean out this roof, blow it all off. I'm going to find the middle of it, run a straight line all the way down it, and put a, a chalk line all the way down it. It might be hard to see. Put an X right there. That's where that center vent is in the galley. It's on the very center of the roof. And I can still see where the foam, or the opening in the foam is, which is right there, and right there. Here's the tape measure. This one's the only vent in the middle, so I'll just be using it as a guideline when I take measurements. I just want to make sure that my measurement isn't like ending up right here, but it should be right about here. So at least give me something to measure off of. You only get one shot at this file on really. Call it 14 and a quarter. So that's seven and an eighth should be the metal. That should be the middle of the vent. So now I'll just measure out and run a chalk line. You can see my chalk line. Uh, you got it. my gloves got it in the way of it right there, but this should be fine. So the next step is the most tedious and frustrating part. I have to get the material up here, secure it in the middle, and then roll it out. And as I'm rolling it, I need to mark the backside of it with the middle line. Uh, that way, I know that it's long enough, it's in the middle enough, and I haven't wasted my time putting it on crooked because there's only like that much allowance on either side and if it's off just a little bit over 37 feet it's going to turn into like six inches and that's not good it's also hard to cut a flap straight if you're going at an angle so here we go <laughs> in place don't ever count on this cut line to be straight so I'm gonna measure find the middle here and go from there well here it is the roof's been laid out it's not glued down yet all right now I'm off from the center line of the vehicle by about a quarter inch, but my measurements, let's see, are even all the way down. All right, so the most important thing is that it's straight and it's uh, pretty straight going down there. I pull this down and more than covers down to here so we have more than enough excess so that's good <clears throat> uh, I won't cut the back off until we have it rolled out and glued down so basically just the next step is to roll it up and start gluing it
done with that, the pylon's down. We just have to trim it and put the whole thing back together again. Oh, by the way, this is my son, Thomas. He was big help today. Thanks a lot.